Luna has 47.8% win rate at Dota 2 Pro Tracker in the last 8 days. But Butterfly, recently known as Titanic, has 81.8% win rate as Luna. What are the major things that he is doing to win every game on Luna? Let's check this out. Coming to the skill build and starting items. Start with the tangos, 3 sets of branches, circular and a magic stick. The magic stick is for sustaining and spamming the lucent beam as it is very important skill to win the lane. The circlet and 3 sets of branches provide stats and beneficial for not getting burst down because of low HP. If you have a support that can secure range creep, just learn the lunar blessing otherwise go for lucent beam. As started with the lucent beam, complete the magic stick as soon as possible to sustain the lane efficiently. This will allow Luna to spam Lucent Beam on enemies and win the lane very easily. Then rush for the power trades as it allows Luna to farm faster because it increases the attack speed of the Luna and with max Lunar Blessing you can hit enemies really harder with your support. With power trades you can hit jungle camps and the wave together. Coming to the mid game. With Max Lunar Blessing and Moon Glaives, go for Mask of Madness and Manta Style, as Mask of Madness allows Luna to life steal and move faster for the other camps. This way, Luna can out farm enemies and get items faster. With Manta Style, send your illusions to the lane, as it allows Luna to survive and farm easily. Luna illusions are strong enough to clear the wave easily because of the moon glaives and doubles the farm with waves and juggle camps together. Coming to the late game items. Luna usually build items that increase their attack speed, damage and survivability such as Manta style, butterfly and satanic. In some cases she can also buy items that enhances her abilities such as Agnum, Shep Agnum Scepter, Agnum Shard and Hurricane Pike. Also, she can also buy Kanda for her Lucent Beams. She is most powerful in the mid to late game where she can dish out huge amount of damage with her Glaives and Eclipse, as well as push towers and barracks with her aura. In conclusion, I would say I myself has a good win rate on Luna. Luna is a strong carry because of her ability to deal high damage, farm fast and buff her allies. Luna is best played in the safe lane where she can get farm and levels and then join the team fights or push objectives.